So I left off on part one saying that that's why I haven't been posting much is that I went on a two-day shopping trip to Denver. And then other than that, all of my inventory recently has come from Fort Collins or from Laramie, Wyoming. So Laramie has the Goodwill, they have Bart's Flea Market, and they have a consignment store, which is just huge. It's bigger than most Goodwills as far as clothing. It is expensive. They do mark up a lot of things, but they also don't know every single brand. And there's a lot of... Uh, hidden gems in there that I can buy for five and ten bucks a piece and they have thirty and forty dollar resale values so if I take into account my money to go to Denver stay in hotels you know miles on my car it's sometimes just cheaper to just stay right where I work as a nurse go for an hour or two each morning before work and uh, get things from these stores which no really I'm not saying no one sources there but um, there's not a lot of sourcing going on and I don't ever feel like I can't find stuff so that's why um I haven't been posting. I've been doing a lot of sourcing and a lot of shopping. So that means, of course, that I'm behind. So um, you can see here, this is the pile that I, maybe you can, that I am working on right now. I'm about, let's see, one, two, I'm still four tubs behind my photographer. So that's what I'm working on now. And uh, I'm. she's got them done, and I'm putting them into uh, the spreadsheet for my virtual assistant. So that's what I'm working on the rest of today. Uh, and I'm hoping to get all of these done and then it'll take him three or four days because he already has like 50 items that I'm waiting on so he'll get those done tonight and tomorrow probably then I'm giving him another I don't know there's probably only 50 items in here a lot of them are coats and jackets so maybe another 50 60 items at the most so over the next week I should have another hundred listings um, that uh, you know get put up so then the other big score, and I want to show you, I'm just going to turn here, is this Bible score. Let me see here if I can do this. Um, you can see all the Bibles here that I got. Um, there are, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's, over, there's actually over 20 Bibles that I got um, at this bookstore. It wasn't closing or anything. It's um, kind of a... Uh, it is a chain, but I just don't want to say what it is because a lot of this is going to Amazon and it is kind of a good source for us, but it's kind of a regional bookstore. But anyway, they had this tent sale that we didn't know they had. We went there to source toys. They also have um, toys sometimes, and so that's what we went there for. I wasn't really going to scan all the books, but then they had this tent sale full of toys and books. So my son got three or four brand new wrapped puzzles and he got two or three toys and I just took all the Bibles. I did start out scanning them and looking them up but then I realized that at three bucks a piece they were all good for eBay at the very least and then I had already scanned enough that I knew they were good for um, Amazon too, some of them. I'm going to look them up, see the condition. Um, I'm putting them all in as used even though I bought them at this bookstore unless there's just some exception where it actually has the seal on it which I see about two that are totally wrapped otherwise I just play it safe um, and probably will send them in as used but that is a good score because I already know I have some $50 Bibles there so that's the second thing that has to be done this weekend because I've already been holding that inventory for over a week uh, normally I would have tried to get that shipment done but with two days of sourcing and then Sunday and then I had to be back to work on Tuesday uh, Monday was my only day and I was hundreds of items behind on listing them on eBay so that's what I've been doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for now. This is part two of the video already. Um, and that's just kind of an update. And then I hope to get an actual Bolo video done where I, after I price check the Bibles and, and I can tell you exactly how much I'm going to get for each one on Amazon or eBay, then I hope to do a video on that. I hope everyone's doing good. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good day.